Hello. In this lesson, we will explain what the Secure Email Gateway is, why it came about, and how it has evolved over time. Email was one of the first activities people did when the world went online in the 1990s. It took very little bandwidth in the days when technology allowed for very little. It was also easy, fast, and didn't even cost a postage stamp. It was so easy and inexpensive that clever individuals saw it as a means to get a message to many people at little or no cost. Some of those mass mailings may have come from legitimate businesses and were equivalent to advertising flyers sent by post. But other mass mailings were sent by more nefarious characters. This was the beginning of spam, the sending of irrelevant and unsolicited messages on the Internet to a large number of recipients. As individuals could send and receive messages with little verification or accountability, it offered anonymity. Initially, people viewed spamming more as a nuisance than a threat, but in 1996, America Online, AOL, coined the term phishing to describe a practice of someone creating a phony account to engage unsuspecting people and tricking them to reveal sensitive information or to extract money. Some of you may have met a character like Prince Solomon of Abududu, or some other wily character who wanted to share their wealth. Please provide your bank account information, and His Highness will kindly deposit a packet of gold. Other bad actors registered domain names that were strikingly close to the names of legitimate businesses or organizations, and masqueraded as that business in an email, coaxing you to click on a link or an attachment that contained malware. The phishing technique relied on human naivety, carelessness, or distraction in order to work. One of the first responses of businesses was to educate their employees about phishing tactics. However, while education can reduce phishing exploits, it could not eliminate the threat. Something needed to be done at the mail server and the Internet Service Provider ISP levels. In response, businesses installed spam filters on the mail server to stem the tide of spam and phishing emails. The spam filters relied on identifying certain words or patterns in the headers or bodies of the messages. To use a simple example, if the word Viagra is common to email spam, then the word could be added to the filter, which would eliminate any email that contained that word. These types of spam filters were also deployed by ISPs. In addition to filtering, the ISPs turned to strengthening authentication methods. By the end of the first decade of the 21st century, the ISPs began to implement the sender policy framework, which slowly took shape during that decade but it wasn't proposed as a standard until 2014. The sender policy framework is an email authentication method that detects bogus sender addresses and emails. However, for every measure stood up by legitimate businesses, organizations, and ISPs, the bad actors introduced a countermeasure that circumvented the latest defense. To return to our simple example, spammers could easily bypass our filtered word, Viagra, by rendering it as V1AGRA or some other variant. And while filters became more sophisticated in detecting spam patterns, they were too static and easy to outsmart. Spamming and phishing were just too lucrative for the bad actors to give up easily. In fact, phishing attacks had grown enormously since the turn of the century. While in 2004, 176 unique phishing attacks had been recorded, by 2012, this had grown to 28,000. And no wonder, phishing was lucrative. Between lost money and damages, the attacks caused a $500 million loss to businesses and individuals. In the wake of these failures, the Secure Email Gateway, or SEG, arose to put up a more rigorous defense. In addition to the spam filter, it added antivirus scanners, threat emulation, and sandboxing to detect malicious attachments and links in real time. Thus, even if education and the spam filter fail, one of these other tools could detect and expunge the threat. However, the number of false positives and the sheer volume of attacks overwhelmed the security teams, who became bogged down in manual remediation. Secure Email Gateway continues to evolve as the threats evolve. 
Today, the greater automation built into SEG alleviates the demands placed on the Security Operations Center, SOC. Other features, such as Data Leak Prevention, DLP, have been added to detect and stop the egress of sensitive data. In some cases, SEG has been integrated with other network security devices, such as edge and segmentation firewalls. These devices collectively form an integrated fabric of security, which can be centrally managed from a single pane of glass and continually updated by threat intelligence as new methods and contagions become known. Fortinet has a secure email gateway that is called FortiMail. FortiMail includes all of the features discussed here, plus it integrates with firewalls and sandboxing solutions. All of these devices can be centrally managed by Forti Manager and updated by FortiGuard, Fortinet's Threat Intelligence Center. Thank you for your time, and please remember to take the quiz that follows this lesson.